Ladies and gentlemen, you know where you're at. This is your host with the most. How's everybody doing out there? If you're new here, welcome. Truly glad everybody stopped by. Let's not forget, people. Let's like, share, and subscribe. But most of all, comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bells. Let me know what's going on. All right, all right. Now, whenever you guys get to any setup, please, please allow it a few ticks so it can do what it do. All right? It's real important now, y'all. I know you might be excited getting into a new setup and things like that. Anytime I get to an app anywhere, I always go right into it. You know, I'm so anxious to use it. But for this, please allow it a few ticks. It has to do things. All right, now with this particular one, I'm going to go right into settings. It's widgets everywhere. Um, I wanted to see the art, though. They got they got some pretty cool art in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to skin settings real quick. Um, I'm going to turn my sub menu off. I'm just going to turn it off. It's plenty there. You you guys, y'all, y'all, yours will be on. But what I want to focus on here first is enable autocomplete. Virtual keyboard helps you guys search things out when you're looking for them. Let's just get that. And it's real important here that once once everything is done, you just go ahead and turn it on because you know I know you're in the you're in the rush. All right, let's get out of here. But like I said, y'all, you guys will have the sub menu. There's a lot of things going on. It's just a lot of things going on. Let's go into our add-on browser real quick. Everything's updated, ready to go. And this is like the section you want to, when you do start, you know, going through, <clears throat> going through the app, this is the place you really want to be first because you want to make sure everything's up and ready to go. That's important. You don't want to be trying to do things and you got updates, okay? It could cause, you know... It can cause unnecessary things to happen. So just make sure everything's up to date, ready to go. Let's click on this. And I want to go to video player input stream. Input stream adaptive is um, able to be enabled. And your RTMP input is able to be enabled. All right. Now, you can always long press on these and get the information on them to see what they do. Okay. Me personally, I like to have both of them on. It just works better for me. Sometimes... It's actually in the background and you can't get these things, but you can tell by the way that it works when these things are enabled. Now, one one is for, um, well, just Google it. Google it and you'll see what it's all for. Google it. All right. Now, the RTMP input usually is not here. So what you want to do for that is just go to install from repo and then go to all repos. And once you're in all repos, what you want to do is just go right back to video player input stream and go ahead and enable this. It'll enable. You don't have to restart your setup or anything. It'll just go ahead and enable. All right. Um, like I said, another thing <clears throat> that I always like to commit to is system. I like to go in the system and I like to go you can get the um that place I was just at too right here with it right here but I like to go into player okay and you know whenever you guys get into player whatever situation whatever setup you're on just make sure it's on expert sometimes you might not see it right down at the bottom and all you have to do is really press left okay depending on the scan but what I want to focus on here is enable HQ scalers for scaling above. But before I do that, as you can see here, it says display 4.3 as 16.9 stretch. No, I don't like I don't like that. I like to just keep it normal. And then if there's a problem within 
you know, what I'm watching or whatever, then I li I might do that. So that's why it's good to check this section out because sometimes, you know, these guys have things tuned up to their liking, which might not, you know, suffice for your liking. Okay, so let's get to the enable HQ scaler for scaling above. Me personally, I like to have mines on 100 for all the devices, 3 gigabytes and up. Um, like your NVIDIA shields and things of that nature. For your medium devices, like your Fire TVs and Cubes and NVIDIA tubes, I like to have that on about 50 or 60. And for your small end devices, I like to keep it on 20 or 30. Okay. Keep in mind, too, these guys do have a fork. I might do the file link today. See if I can get up with my boy. See if we can update the file link today. Got a couple of new joints for you. Let's see how many people make it this far in the video where they hear that. Okay. Uh, anyway, after that, you know, I try not to take too many ticks with certain things. I always end up taking too many ticks. Um, let's just go, let's, let's, let's go into the whiz, let's, let's just go. Alright, first thing I like to do is go right into maintenance here. And like, what I like to do is go into cleaning tools. And I like to give myself a total cleanup. Alright. And after I'm done with that, what I like to do is actually go into system tweaks and fixes. I like to go into my advanced settings. Okay, now we got network, um, we got cache and network presets. Let's go to quick configure and see what it does. Okay, nope, this one doesn't do it. And I wish, you know, if you guys saw my last video, the crew did something with theirs where you can actually do it yourself. Okay, yeah, this is the 314. I mean, it works with the, with the cache and network presets. Let's go into that. Um, and you got a couple of you, you got a couple of options here. I guess this would be your Fire Stick, and these two right here would be your Fire TVs as well as your um, Nvidia Shields. I just like when I can do mines myself, you know. But you know, whichever one you pick, um, it will prompt you to restart your setup, okay? And you will be able to check on your um, you will be able to see your settings actually after you write one but i'm gonna tell you guys me personally i kind of like to write mines before i even get you know to the setup i like to write it you know that pop-up box you guys get if that stuff if you got some of that stuff on the pop-up box check it but the most important one that i would tell you if you don't have any of that stuff is to mark the one that says keep your advanced settings xml clear cash on startup thumbnails and all that so that's a total of four if you don't have the first three up there, okay? Listen, let me know how you guys like this one. If you get a chance, like, share, and subscribe. But most of all, comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bells, people. As always, I'm hoping you're having a blessed, peaceful, and a productive day. Love and peace for all. Never forget, it is good to be good. And it is bad to be bad. I'm going to see you guys on the next one, y'all. Peace.